Hi, I'm Derek, and today on Air Capital Hot Rods Garage, we're going to talk about air compressor systems. Alright, I just got finished completing the installation of my air compressor and the associated piping with it. I wanted to go over it with you just a little bit here. So, this air compressor, it's a Puma brand air compressor. It's a three cylinder, single stage, uh, five horsepower motor. It runs on 220 volt power. So there's my plug-in right there. Um, so, pretty basic. You know, uh, this is a couple hundred dollars. Okay, uh, nothing real fancy. You can get all kinds of them. Uh, you know, Home Depot even. Um, so what I want to talk about though is how I hooked it up. So, on the outlet here, I got a just a ball valve so it's closed right now uh, and then we got a flex hose right here this is stainless steel made for this purpose um, this is so that as as the air compressor is running it vibrates a little bit and you don't want to put that vibration into your piping system as if this was hard piped it would vibrate so then if we walk around here just a little bit Move this stuff out of the way. So, we got that stainless steel hose coming out of here, and then we go into a union. Now, I use these unions all over, um, and they make uh, fitting stuff up and adjustments and everything a lot easier. They're also a potential leak source, so there's good and, uh, good and bad things about it, but um, I choose to use uh, a couple of them. Um, so after that, we got a regulator. Now, I'm using black steel pipe here, so, and the pump, the compressor, will run at 135 pounds. So this pipe will take all that uh, pressure. So uh, what you don't want to do is, you don't want to use PVC pipe on this. Uh, it'll hold the pressure, you know, 90 pounds uh, for a while, but as it ages, it gets brittle and can break. Uh, avoid that. I know that they make some uh, aluminum piping uh, specifically for air compressor um, piping systems. Um, you got to order it. Uh, it's more expensive and uh, I didn't want to do that. Uh, the majority of this system is one inch pipe. Uh, that's really way bigger than what you really need for just a regular garage. Um, I bought this at my last place where we had a uh, plasma table and so I was running a lot of air so I didn't want to have the pressure drop and everything across that so I just reusing the pipe. Um, so I got a regulator uh, right here. Uh, like I said you could have uh, regulators at each one of your takeoffs uh, but I chose to put it here um, keep in mind that when you uh, change the pressure of your air uh, from a higher pressure down here to a lower pressure that air going through there is actually going to cool down so one of the issues with the entire compressor system is there's moisture in the air that we breathe and then it gets compressed in the air compressor and um, so that if you feel your tank when it's running it'll be warm because compressed air is hot over time um, that air in the tank the tank will cool down and that water will fall out and um, end up in the bottom of your tank and that's why you drain the tank occasionally um, if you're running a sandblaster or something like that where you're pumping a whole bunch of air all the time that air in the tank is never going to cool down so it's going to be up to your piping system in part to um, keep that moisture out of it so if you have a properly designed piping system and then filtration system uh, you won't be introducing moisture into um, your sandblaster which can obviously gum it up and stuff and uh, same thing with painting and stuff so so we, what we got here is um, come through the regulator, another union, and then tease. 
Okay, so going up feeds the rest of the system, we'll talk about later, and it comes down, tees off here, and then it continues on down, and there's another ball valve down there, and so that way, any moisture that drains, here's my high point here in the corner, so any moisture that drains down here, down here, ends up down there. So you, occasionally you open that ball valve and the water will drain out, okay? Just like your tank. So then we tee off here and we come over here and have a couple of fittings and go into our hose reel. So nothing real fancy there. You know, then I just got a, a I actually have a QD fitting over here and then a QD fitting on the end of the hose reel. So um, you're not going to get a bunch of uh, cooling effect in this piping here um, so for filling up tires and stuff this is fine um, so the next leg though so we come up here oh and up here at the top uh, there's a pressure relief valve so if something gets over pressurized here you know our regulator fails and you have a couple of failures with the air compressor system um, you know, the piping system is going to be safe. It's not going to blow apart. Uh, I have had a compressor. Um, the, the switch in here uh, actually fused together from dust in the air, uh, probably from welding and plasma cutting and stuff. So those contacts uh, fused together, and so the compressor couldn't run, uh, turn off. And so it's running along, running along, and trying to turn off, but it can't. Uh, the relief valve on the tank was lifting, and it was making a hell of a racket. Um, but, you know, luckily we had um, uh, relief valves and, you know, cut the power off and uh, replaced the switch and everything was uh, fine. So, def and that was a different compressor, by the way. Um, definitely want to keep safety in mind here. Uh, so we come up here. Relief valve, and then go along here. Got another um, union there, and then go along to the corner where we uh, have an elbow, and then come over here. I'll move over here. So we come along this wall, and again, it's sloping down from the corner uh, and down to this end. So up here, that's a T. So the end of the T has a plug in it. So if I want to uh, expand my air system, I just have to remove that plug up here, right there, and uh, I can extend it on. So we come down here, uh, get to a T. Here's our air fitting. So if I want to do some painting or sandblasting and stuff, this is where I would uh, plug into. Uh, before I do that, I would want to put maybe uh, a filter and a dryer and maybe some other equipment there. Um, not there yet. I, like I said, I just put this in. Uh, not planning on painting right away, so, and I don't have that stuff right now. So, But as you can see, this continues on down. And I got another drink, uh, ball valve there. That way, any water that condenses out of it from that corner over to here drains all the way down here. Again, getting dry air. Uh, when I had this set up in my other shop when I was uh, plasma cutting, I had a big incandescent uh, dryer here. And, uh, you know, it, it basically had a roll of toilet paper in there, it looked like. And I took that apart, check it, you know, it was never wet. So this system was working very well. Uh, one thing to note is, uh, if this wasn't at the end of the line, ideally what you would do is, um, rather than draining it down, you would need to turn this uh, T so that the outlet of it is pointing up, then you elbow over and then elbow down, so that this leg would no longer really be a drain leg, it would just be air leg, and then you would put your drain leg down over here 
where it's going to drain at the end of your slope. So little changes depending on what you're doing, but uh, just remember uh, if you're using a T as a T, uh, you want to have it pointed up, elbow, elbow down. So uh, that's it, basic um, air system. And you know, this is all just available at the home improvement stores, just black pipe. You know, this is one inch, um, you know, probably a more appropriate size for most air compressors is probably half inch or three quarter inch. Uh, so if you're uh, running, you know, if you're in a shop where you have people running multiple things at one time, you know, you might run a larger diameter uh, pipe along your main leg with uh, smaller drops uh, for the individual users. Um, also, if you run you don't run a regulator over there by the air compressor and you run your regulator here uh, so all of this would be operating at your air compressor system and this is air volume just like your 60 gallon tank or 80 gallon tank there's volume of air in there so that's one way you can get a little bit more capacity um, again you're not taking a, a pressure drop there you'd be taking it here so you don't get the cooling effect of the pressure drop over there. Though, you know, you're, you're dropping it from 135 pounds to uh, 90 pounds is what I run mine at. Uh, that cooling effect isn't, that's, you know, one or two degrees. I haven't done the math to uh, calculate that, but it's not tons, uh, but it does happen. Uh, so uh, you can put your regulator here, but since this whole piping system is running at 90 pounds. Uh, I don't need to. So that's it. Uh, hopefully this was educational and uh, you can install your own air system. Thanks. Bye.